is up everyone welcome on in my name is jessica if you are new here maybe you were searching for sephora collection products you were curious about some of it that's what we're doing today i've got a full face of makeup products to use and test out with you guys today you're going to see them all going on that is all i'm wearing today is sephora collection there are some freaking amazing products and there are some that really are just like eh, i would skip so we'll get into all of that i did want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor which is rakuten rakuten if you've never heard of it is something i have literally been using for four you five years like a very long time a long long time but if you've never heard of it it is the largest cash back site they partner with over 3500 different retailers we're talking like ulta target Sephora, Macy's, Kohl's, Walmart. It's a lot, a lot of brands, you guys. When in doubt, they probably partner with Rakuten. <laughs> but with Rakuten, you get cash back, you get promo codes, you get coupons to use online, and it's all for free. And it's super easy to use. All you do is click through the links found on Rakuten for the shop that you are wanting to shop at online. And then you check out like you normally would and your cash back that you're earning on that will be automatically applied to your Rakuten account. That is how easy it is. Actually, the way that I use it more than anything is I downloaded their browser extension app because then, like I literally earlier today was shopping for some Christmas presents and it literally said activate whatever percent cash back and it just pops up and I was like, yep. So I clicked it, it does this little tracking thing and then I was ready to shop. I checked out like normal and I'll be getting that cash back in my account, you know, here in the next few days. So it really is incredibly easy to use. It is totally free. So if you're doing holiday shopping online like I am, this is a great time to download Rakuten and try it out. And if you click the link in my profile and make a qualifying purchase, you can get a $30 sign up bonus that's just added to your Rakuten account. It is so easy, you guys. It is totally free. And again, I feel like we are just in that season of online shopping. So it's a good time to try it if you haven't yet. I know so many of you guys have signed up and like from videos I did with them years ago and you've been using it ever since. So that is so awesome. I'm always glad to spread the news about like really cool things out there. And there's money on the table there if you're already online shopping. And I feel like if you're not using Rakuten, you're just leaving that money on the table, you know? So again, the link for the $30 sign up bonus and to sign up for Rakuten is down at the top of the description box. Thank you so much Rakuten for sponsoring this portion of the video. And by the way, Sephora collection from like today into the next like two days, I think it ends on December 12th, is 30% off. You use the code gift easy, but what's cool is that if you've got Rakuten, you're also gonna be getting cash back. So if you're gonna place an order on Sephora, this is a great time to practice using Rakuten and you're gonna get cash back on top of the 30% off you're gonna get on Sephora collection stuff. Okay, I've said my piece, but yeah, it's a good time to shop. All right, so let's go back in time and we're gonna try all of this Sephora makeup on. I'm so excited. I mean, I've already lived it, but you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. <laughs> Okie dokie. So first of all, it just took me like 20 full minutes to get all the freaking packaging off. You know how like everything will come wrapped? which is good from a hygiene perspective. But boy, oh boy, there's nothing more frustrating to me than you try to peel where the little perforation is and you peel a little and then it's it only gets that little bit off and you're like, so I end up with like a box cutter, like cutting through all of these things. And anyway, we've done it though. Everything is open <laughs> except for these brushes. I did get a few new brushes. So my only experience with like Sephora collection things is I've tried like one of their waterproof eyeliners and I really like it. It's a pencil liner, like retractable pencil. I really, really like that. And they have a lot of different colors. And then some of their lip products. I've loved their lip liners, which we'll talk about towards the end for a while and one of their like their melting lip clicks the only other thing that I've been loving from them for so long is their Sephora Pro brushes oh my gosh I like I have so many they're all so good I'm gonna say that and like not have one right in front of me but they're just so so good I literally <laughs> there we go I was like I know I have a bunch Anyway, I know I have a lot of them at home that I use every single day. And also this is a Morphe one. Y'all, <laughs> this is a train wreck. So I knew I wanted to get a couple more of their brushes. So we'll talk about those. And the other thing to know, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video too, is that Sephora collection for the next couple days is 30% off. I'll put the code that you would need to use down below. So it's a really good time to try if there's like one or two things from this video that you're like, ooh, I think I'd like that. This would be a good time to buy it. But the other nice thing is, I promise we'll get to the makeup in a sec. The other nice thing is that uh, Sephora collection, you know, compared to the brand,
brands that Sephora carries is a lot more inexpensive comparatively. Some of their products can get up there, but you know, you're not gonna be buying a $50 product from the Sephora range. Anyway, so we are moisturized and sunblocked and stuff. We are gonna try this. This is something I went back and forth and finally you guys convinced me like, no, Jessica, seriously, it's so good, you have to buy it. So this is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Longwear Foundation. It says it's got a perfect natural finish. It's got anti-pollution. It's really pretty, like it's a little glass bottle. I like that it's got a pump. I'm hoping this is a good shade match. We're gonna find out. My fingers are freezing. I was putting on my moisturizer, like SPF thing, just a bit ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, my hands are so cold. So I'll use a sponge to start. Let's just kind of see how this covers. I didn't put a lot on, in fairness. Like I would almost not even count that as like a full coat. Let's go in with a little bit more. I feel like the shade match might be actually pretty good. Do you ever have times in your life where like, I feel like I will go months and look like, okay, I don't know how to explain this. Like I'll look okay when I wake up. Like lately I have been waking up with the craziest like dark, dark circles around my eyes. I don't know if that is pregnancy this time around or not, but and I'm getting like a decent amount of sleep, but just lately, look how red my nose is comparatively. It looks nice, right? Like you can still see that moisture in the skin, but it's not super high coverage. I've been using a lot more higher-ish coverage foundations and I've been loving them lately. The one downside is if, if that kind of foundation is not a pretty darn good match to like your neck. It just looks a little odd. So I always am a fan of like winter time cause like you wear a lot of like turtlenecks and stuff where you can't tell <laughs> if it matches or not. And I was just talking about in another video that like, I don't know, man, I've never found anything to perfectly match my neck and chest because my neck and chest is sometimes red, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's like leaning yellow. Like I swear to you, it changes colors throughout the day. And so no matter how close I get, at some point in the day, it's not gonna look like it matches my chest. Do you know what I'm saying? But the nice thing about this is it does still have some coverage. Like I feel like that covered a lot of my little bits of redness, some like it toned down some of my frecklage. Not so much that it looks mask-like. I'm digging this. I'm starting to see why people like it. And I feel like right this moment as the weather has been totally transitioning, my skin has been fine. And again, it could be pregnancy, it could not be but I just feel like it's not at its best these, this past like week or so. And so if it's still looking good on top of my skin as it is now, then I'm feeling pretty confident that, I mean, this looks really nice, you guys. This is exactly what I like. I've been finding a lot of good foundations lately. I'll link the other video where I tried another one that I was like, is this the best foundation I've ever tried? That one definitely has more coverage though. So if you're wanting kind of, Light to medium, like max medium, this is, I'm really digging it so far. First impression, obviously things could change, but really digging it. But the other one from Shiseido is more expensive, probably at least double the price of this, but it does have more coverage. But they have a similar finish where it's got that, like you can still see the healthy, like hydration level in your skin. Ooh, -hoo, this is pretty. And I liked the way it applied with the sponge too. All right, I'm gonna go get like a, do I have a sparkling water here? Hold on. No, we did not, but we had a zero sugar ginger ale. It's okay. This is one that I feel like I tried before and I think I liked it okay, but I think it went bad. I cannot remember, but I remember owning this. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I feel like I remembered it being pretty lightweight. Ooh, what? Oh my gosh. I always feel so defeated when I have to go ask Tyler to open something. <laughs> Hold on. He had to straight up like get a wrench out and like, <laughs> and so there's some marks there, but he got it open. That was so weirdly hard. Anyway, so I think it's meant to be pretty like lightweight. It's definitely a very thin gel-like consistency considering the name gel serum foundation. Not foundation, Jessica, concealer. I'm gonna use my sponge. I'm trying to decide. Oh wait, I got a new concealer brush. Well, newish. It's the Sephora number 57. This is one I think I owned, but when they revamped their line, I hadn't tried a lot of the new stuff, even though I'm pretty sure it's the same as the old, just slightly different packaging. You know what I mean? But regardless, I wanted to know for sure, since a lot of you guys ask about that, especially you guys ask a lot about concealer brushes. Cause I use a lot of different kinds, but it is pretty wild. Like that's probably the thing I'm asked about the most. So, so it looks like this. 
I like that it's small so you can really get in the corner of your eye. All right, but I feel like this formula, it does fine with the brush, but it's not like blending all the way in. Like I can't get the product to all blend in. It was kind of going back and forth. I'm just not digging the way that looks. In fairness to the product, I do have a little bit of dryness right there that I feel like, again, like I said, the past week or two, it's just been there. And I feel like that's making me like hate every concealer, even ones I know I love. So I feel like this is one of those things I need to try during fair weather so I can <laughs> let you know like how it looks when my skin is not dry. But the other reality is a lot of people have dryness right there all of the time, right? It might be you listening to this and I would say this does not do well for that because I feel like it's just kind of sitting on top of that dryness. Like it's not actually helping with that. I think this is just okay. I just think there's better concealers out there. Like I said, I'll keep playing with it, let you guys know in an updated like speed reviews video here in the next month or two, once I've used all of these for longer than just one time. <laughs> I don't, I just don't think it's revolutionary. And so far out of the two, I, this is like blowing me out of the water. This one, I just kind of feel like meh about. I do love the concealer brush. And like I said, I've tried this one before just in different packaging, so I know this is a great product, especially if you want a smaller concealer brush to be able to get in there. The other brush, by the way, it's technically a foundation brush, but I use it for concealer and it is maybe my favorite one that Sephora sells is their number 56. Like I said, it's marketed as foundation. You can absolutely use it that way. But because it is smaller, I find that it would take me too long to do my foundation. Like with this brush, like it, I don't know. I'm just impatient is the reality. They're just so soft, you guys but I just feel like it really gets in there really nicely. Like this is my favorite shape of concealer brush. I'm excited to have this again because I don't know, man, I, I think I have mine, but it must be dirty and I haven't washed it. By the way, I had washed all my brushes in some vlog like in the last month or so, and I found a treasure trove of dirty brushes that had been hidden under my sink. I didn't even know they were there. And it's a ton of my favorites that I've been wondering where they were. So now I have, even more brushes to wash. I'm like, dang it. But I'm excited because like half my favorites were in there. So I think my other one of this was in that little pile. So out of the two, my favorite is the number 56 and bonus points that it could be used for foundation as well. You could use it both ways, but I love both of them. Let's do this powder and then we'll do brows. So I got the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation. And if you've watched any of my videos, you might be like, Jessica, you don't really like matte skin. Like, why would you get that? Listen, I just love powder foundation <laughs> because it is the product I grab for like middle of the day. Like if I've been wearing a mask or, you know, just life happening, kissing on my kid or my dog, I just feel like Powder foundation is the thing I grab for more than anything for touch-ups because it's got good coverage. I can apply it really quickly, especially to like my nose and chin where it typically would wear off faster. So I'm always down to try any version of a powder foundation. So this is their matte one. We're just gonna see it definitely, ooh, definitely mattified that area. I have to say though, I've been spoiled because I've been using the Huda Beauty Glow Wish. And again, that's probably double the price of this, but it's the Glow Wish like glowy powder foundation. That stuff is beautiful. <laughs> I'll link it below if you're like needing one because I have been loving that so much. So it's gonna be hard to compete with that. Again, it mattified for sure. It definitely covered some more. I think that looks pretty nice. Since I know I don't typically want more mattification, I don't think this is gonna be something I'm reaching for all of the time. But then again, man, sometimes you put on something greasy and you're like, ooh, and this is gonna be something that can help combat that. Or you just have oily skin yourself, right? I'm acting like I'm talking to a 10 year old, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every once in a while, the like old school fifth grade teacher in me comes out and sometimes my husband's like, Jessica, please don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's like, you talk to me like I was your student. I'm like, I know. I know what I did. I know what I said. All right, so I've got a couple brow products here. I've been super into like little brow pomades like in a mascara, you know what I mean, like on a wand. So I got a clear one and I got this one. So this is their Brow Volumizing Fiber Mascara. I got the shade Deep Brown number five. Definitely has a little bit bigger of a spoolie than a lot of the other ones I use, but I don't mind that. I mean, I feel like it's just kind of covering more ground quicker. Well, that worked really fast. <laughs> There's a little more pigment to this than there is a lot of the other ones I already love. Like I love the e.l.f. Wow Brow, it's $4. It's just perfect, but Sometimes you want a little more definition in your brows, and I feel like this is giving it to me in a way that the Elf Wow Brow doesn't. That just came out funny, but you know, it just, it's faster, it had a lot more pigment. So I can see this being something I reach for a lot because I really like the way that looks. So the clear one, if you're someone that you don't put anything in your brows or you use something else, but you like a clear brow gel just to hold them in place, let's just kinda 
put it on top. I would say I use a clear brow gel a lot. Like, I don't know that I do it every day, but pretty often because it just kind of holds my brows in place. We'll see if that like feels crunchy. It's still drying. I don't mind a crunchy brow though, honestly, but I don't feel like this is gonna be the formula that feels crunchy. So let's dive into eyeshadow. So I kind of made a wee bit of a mistake. Well, first of all, I ordered some single shadows just because I'm like, that's something I don't order all the time. But sometimes if you find like a really great color of shadow for you and you just have it in a single, that's just nice. So I bought two. I thought that this one here, this is in the shade Golden Marshmallow number 351. I thought this would be a little bit Hold on, this is so freaking cool. There's the like case for it, right? It's teeny tiny, it's kind of cute. But I couldn't get that open, but I could get this bottom part open and that's where this was just sitting. So it's easy to depot shadows and put them in other little palettes and replace them. Or if you have like just Nike refills, you could use this and like just swap out which one you wanna carry around with you. Why aren't more people doing that? That's really cute. Anyway, back to what I was saying, I thought this this color would be a little bit deeper. This is like super light. I was gonna use it as like my kind of transition crease shade. And I thought, like I said, I thought it was a little deeper, but we're just gonna see what we can do with this. The other shade I got is number 359 Antique Copper. It's this really pretty, just kind of coppery shimmer. So this first one, by the way, was from their matte line. This one's from their shimmer line. They have a lot of different lines and a lot of colors, like an overwhelming amount of colors. So another new brush I got is their number 26 brush. This is one of their crease brushes and it just feels, well, really soft, but it just is a good size. It's not overly, overly fluffy. I like a big fluffy one, but not every, like I have a lot of space there. So that works for my eye shape. That doesn't work for a lot of eye shapes. So this is a not quite as fluffy, you might like it. Let's just try this first one, Golden Marshmallow. What's it called? Oh, it is called Golden Marshmallow. Let's just see what it actually looks like on. I've been going a lot more often without eyeshadow and it's been kind of freeing in a way. Like, <laughs> I can't explain it. Like, I always feel like, well, if I'm doing liner and mascara, I better do eyeshadow. Like, I feel like one goes with the other and they can't be separate. Obviously, I know they can, but do you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I'm supposed to wear eyeshadow with it. But lately, I've just been doing no eyeshadow, liner, mascara, and I really like the way that looks too. I feel like it looks really youthful. I don't know. I've been digging it. So actually this color kind of worked, but if you're any deeper than me, I mean, this just wouldn't work for you, but it did have a little more pigment than I expected. And that is like exactly the kind of crease shade I like. So it all worked out in the end, but let's try this one in antique copper. Just swatching this like this. I, I feel like it's certainly formula wise, not blowing me away, like compared to most other eyeshadows I use at any price point really, like ColourPop 2, e.l.f. kind of feels akin to any of those and maybe less pigmented, but I'm betting that each shade is slightly different. When you're working with a range like this that has so many different colors, there's no way all of the shadows in the Sephora collection line perform the same. You know what I mean? Like there's no way. So I bet some are really, really good. Some are maybe duds. Like I feel like both of these worked really well. This blended in really easily. And then the shimmer, I think looks really pretty. And this is definitely one of those colors that could be a one shadow look, like even if I didn't have this in the crease and it would look really pretty. So this is totally a me eyeshadow look. I would be willing to, like if I were in store sometime soon, look at more of the eyeshadows and see if there's like any one that stands out. Let me know if you have a favorite from this line. I was surprised when I opened them how teeny tiny these were. They're so small. But this brush was really, really nice. Super, super soft really easy to blend. Like this just feels like a very professional, good brush. All right, so the liner I mentioned earlier is their Sephora Retractable Eyeliner. It's waterproof. They have a lot of different colors. This is like their brown, which is a really nice deep brown, but then it also has a like sponge so you can kind of smudge it if you want. I feel like it's a really good liner. I've still never tried their black, which is typically what I go for in liner, but I'm just gonna tight line with this and then I have a really cool liquid liner I am excited to try because the swatch alone, I was like, ooh, this might be really good. I feel like it works pretty well in the eyeliner too. I usually get a little bit of transfer down, like I put mine in my upper waterline. That's typical of most eyeliners, but I do still feel like it stays in place pretty darn well. And like I said, I think it just needs a minute to kind of set, but it is a waterproof eyeliner. So now that we've kind of tight lined a bit, the next product, and like I said, this is newer to me, is the Black Ink Fine Line Felt Liner. It has got this really, really fine tip. I love this kind of thing. So we're going to just try to do like a little wing here. It's so black and that was so easy to apply. I felt kind of in a rut with 
liquid liners lately. Not that I don't have good ones I use, but like I felt like I hadn't found a new really good liquid liner in a while. So this is exciting. Fan of that already. Like that was really easy to use, really easy to apply, super black. We'll see how it wears. I can put some wear notes for how these products looked by the end of the day down in the description box. If you're curious about a certain product, you can see if I posted about it down there. Next up is their Size Up Mascara. So this is supposed to be extra large, super sized volume. I like a good volumizing mascara. This has a natural bristle brush, kind of has somewhat of an hourglass shape to it. So after like one and a half ish coats, I never know how to, you know, cause I'm just constantly applying it, but uh, it looks really nice, right? It looks super curled and definitely volumized, a little bit lengthened. Oh, I got ultra black. For a second, I thought it looked like brown. I feel like sometimes though, the ultra blacks or like the blackest black kind of mascaras can look very, not silvery, it's not the right word, but it'll catch the light in such a way that it almost doesn't look black anymore. It looks like gray. That's not always the case, but I definitely have noticed that. So I've been opting often to get just like, just black instead of black is black. I've also noticed that if I give like one of my eyes time, like a minute to dry, while I'm doing the other one. If I go back in with another coat and just really wiggle it at the base, I feel like my lashes end up staying curled longer throughout the day with any mascara because it's like they're almost dry and then you give them that little zhuzh towards the end to just kind of push them up. I don't know. I feel like that's been helping a lot lately with holding the curl. Okay, I like this mascara. I'll be using this a lot. <laughs> I did want to take this, the lighter shade and just kind of put it on my lower lash line. Just adds that little bit of definition there. And I've been feeling like lately, sometimes when I put a little bit of color down there, just a little bit, it'll cover some of my fine lines too. <laughs> So we found a lot of good products so far. Next up, we're gonna try this bronzer. I'm pretty sure I've heard a lot of people talk about this one. Like when I saw this packaging, I was like, that looks familiar. So it's the Sephora Matte Bronzer. I got it in shade number two, Majorca. Maybe I should have gone with shade number one <laughs> now that I'm looking at it compared to my skin, but we're just gonna play, we're gonna see. Definitely looks like it's gonna make me look maybe orange. I might have picked the wrong shade. I'm already though enjoying the formula. I feel like this is applying really easily. So with that in mind, I might go ahead and buy the shade down. It's just too stark for what I like in bronzer. It's too stark and a little bit too uh, warm toned as well. A little bit too dark, a little bit too warm. Cause like, I wanna show you this comparison. One of my favorite bronzers of all time for my skin tone is the lightest shade of the L'Oreal True Match Bronze. If you compare, I mean, these are like wildly different products. Isn't that crazy? Just wanted to show you that cause that's what's crazy about bronzer too. Like I'm so glad that so many companies have a lot of different shades because all of our skin tones are wildly different and you know, bronzer will look totally different depending on the tone you're getting, you know what I mean, and the depth. Well, I like the formula, so like I said, I'm gonna try to get the other uh, shade because I, I still think it looks nice, it's just a bit much, you know? I thought I was buying a blush when I bought this, and it really is not totally a blush. We're gonna try, but this is the Sephora Golden Hour Highlighting Powder, I should have known, in the shade number one, Dusk, but when I saw it online, it looks like a blush. It really is more of a pink highlighter, we're gonna put it on as though it's a blush and just see because I have another highlighter product I wanna use. <laughs> yeah, it's just a highlighter. It's, whoa, it's pretty though. Cause I even thought like, well maybe it's more like blush topper like, you know, where it's got more of that pink tone, but it really is not. But this is a pretty freaking highlighter, man. Like for the holidays too, woo, like it. Bummed it's not a blush and can't believe I don't have one but you know, it is what it is. The highlighter I bought is their Golden Hour Liquid Highlighter. Probably don't really need much, but we'll, oh boy. The squeezy tube, oh my gosh, okay. I'm just gonna kinda, oh my gosh, okay. A little bit goes a long way, holy cannoli. I am using way too much. <laughs> That's the bottom line. So it can pack a punch. It's a really thin formula. So it's like blending into the skin really easily, even though I did use too much at first and at second. <laughs> <laughs> nice thing is it's adding back in the glow that I was missing with the mattifying powder foundation, you know? So for lips, first of all, the lip liners. These are so good. I own like three or four. These are the two I have in front of me. They're Rouge Gel Lip Liner. They have a ton of shades. I just finally bought a red because I've been needing a red here. 
and this is in the shade 11. It's cherry and it's just a more blue toned red lipstick. These are so creamy. You don't sharpen them, they're retractable. But they do have on the back a little like shaper so you can get it back to a point if you want, you know, the shape, you know, it is a lip liner after all. But these are so good, you guys. This one is in the shade Creme de la Creme. This is definitely my most used lip liner. It is the perfect nude. It's not too brown, not too pink, not too light. It's perfect. So this is definitely like my favorite nude lip liner. I have two other lip products I wanna show you and then we'll kind of decide what we actually put on. So this is the one I've loved for a long time that I don't know if they're discontinuing it or not. It's like always on clearance, but then it's still there like a year later, but it's their Melting Lip Click. I have it in the shade number one, Caramel. I have loved this for a long time. It's just a super comfy, basically like tinted lip balm gloss. Like it's just a really good everyday purse lippy. Love it. But I also got, and why did I get this shade? It's not right for me. I'm like, what was I thinking when I was ordering all this stuff? It is their Lip Last Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade number seven, Mocha. Again, I think their coloring online just looked different because that is not what it looked like online. I am not a brown lip person. It just doesn't look good on me in my opinion. So I think we're gonna do creme de la creme and use the Melting Lip Click just so you can see how that looks. I'm just gonna color in the lips all the way. This is almost moisturizing. Like it's such a creamy lip liner that it's almost moisturizing and it's so nice because when you put it on and color in the lips, I do this a lot and then I'll just stick a clear gloss or like a light pink gloss on top and it just looks so pretty and it's comfy. So that's what it looks like, just the lip liner and just filled in and then we'll just toss this on top because I love it. So like I was saying, if I had to rank like my top few recommendations, if you were genuinely about to like place a Sephora order and you're like, I really need some new products, whatever. This is up there, this foundation. It really is just pretty. It's the coverage and the finish I like. This shade match, if you're near me, I would, this is 11.5P, is maybe the best I have for myself, honestly. I really enjoyed this mascara. I really think it looks nice and curled and volumized. The brushes, I'm always gonna say that. The other brush, by the way, I got is number 55. This is their foundation brush. It looks a little like floppy for foundation though, so I don't know about that. I honestly might use this for blush. I don't know, we'll see. But that was the only one that was like genuinely completely new to me. But any of their brushes, I'm telling you, are so so, so good if you get them from their pro line. So this would be a great time to buy some because they are so good. And definitely their lip liners. These have been a standby for a while. And I, when I knew I needed a new red lip liner, I was like, I'm buying it from the Sephora line because that is my favorite lip liner line. They're easy to use, they're comfy, and mm, they're so good. So some honorable mentions go to the liquid liner. I kept wanting to say lip liner. This one is really good. Like I'll be using this. This is going in my makeup bag and I really enjoyed the brow products. They don't feel, by the way, if you're curious with the clear one, it doesn't feel crunchy, but I really like the way my brows look today. Digging those, everything else, I don't think anything was super, super bad. I was definitely the most disappointed by the concealer. It was just meh, like I said, but like the liquid highlighter, the eyeshadows were pretty good. Highlighter and bronzer were pretty good. The powder is pretty good, but definitely those few I just mentioned are the, the standout that are like they're performing at a really high level. So that's everything. So again, I wanted to thank Rakuten for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Again, don't forget to use Rakuten while you're doing your online holiday shopping. I'm telling you, you will be shocked at how much cash back you get. You really will, especially if you're like me and you're doing a lot of your holiday shopping online. So if you want to sign up for Rakuten and get a $30 sign up bonus, I will have the link right there at the top of the description box. Thanks again, Rakuten, for sponsoring a part of this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.